So ladies and gentlemen, a very sad thing has happened. The bench has suffered a shocking loss. A year after he welcomed his son, he christened Daniel 3 with his wife Didi. According to insiders, Daniel reportedly drowned in a pool yesterday. A quick check on the band's Instagram page showed beautiful photos of his father and son moment with Daniel. While we wait, await a statement from the singer, it should be recalled that he held a secret wedding with his girlfriend Didi at a low-key ceremony both in Lagos and Abuja. So what happened was that the band was outside Nigeria. He was in, um, I think he was at the BET Awards or something. You understand? So that was where he was and uh, witnessing the event when his wife was with the um, with his son, you understand, in Nigeria, in his mansion in Nigeria. So his wife sort of left the son with some grown-up adults that visited. Uh, she left the son with them probably at the parlor or something and went inside thinking that he's in good care. So the son wandered off they weren't paying attention to the young uh, child the child wandered off and got to the pool in the backyard and drowned that was how the young man drowned you understand before as in it took like it took long for them to even notice that the child was there and missing you understand they had to start looking for him before they now saw that he has already drowned in the pool so they rushed him to hospital. By the time they were getting to the hospital, the doctor had already, already confirmed that the child is dead. He dead by drowning. So here are some pictures. Uh, before I even tell you what my own opinion is, uh, you should um, click the red subscribe button at, at the bottom of this video if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos. Click the red subscribe button. Alright, so let's see what people think. Somebody said the banj who die what happened? It is well. So sorry for the loss. Please, what happened? God is with you. Always faithful, graceful God. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Uh prayer, prayer, prayer. He was such a beautiful child. May he so rest in peace. Uh okay. So let's see what um these other people think. Please someone tell me it's a lie. Let it be a lie, please. Better be on a normal blogging stupidity. I rebuke this in Jesus' name. I reject this. He was a cute kid. I really hope it's not true. Uh, that was so costly for the branch to have done with the baby. Um, eventually, um, okay, let's see this. Somebody said, and this is new, right? Now, today people don't they die. That is a price everyone must pay, both the young and the old. Safe journey to the land of no return, young man. Say hi to Fela and to Park on my behalf. Somebody said, why are you so insensitive? Uh, okay. All right, guys. And uh, now, now, what I think is, um, if you have a child, and you should, you should kind of child-proof your house. You understand? For instance, if you have a child, you shouldn't have a deep freezer. If you had, the, if you have a child and a deep freezer, you know, a deep freezer the way it is, it's the normal fridge, but it's turned, it's lying on its back. You understand the reason why you shouldn't have a deep freezer is if a child is able to open that freezer the child can climb in and get trapped so if you have a child on the deep freezer make sure your deep freezer is 100 percent of the time locked you understand find a way to make sure that the deep freezer is locked all the time and you're with the key because if not a child can get into the fridge one day it has happened several times a child gets into the fridge during one of those hide and seek uh play that children do one of the children just opened the fridge and climbed in there and died in there you understand so it was in the evening when they came out when the parents came out they opened the fridge so that the child has frozen because the child was inside the fridge and couldn't open it again from inside and the the fellow children didn't know that the child was inside the fridge so you should kind of child proof your house uh for instance you shouldn't leave um sockets extension boxes that are down on the ground just like that because the child might use um electricity uh, uh, a metal and try to poke in there you understand and get electrocuted you get what i'm saying so you try to child proof your house so in the case of the bunch on the swimming pool was not child proofed so how is it possible that a child can walk straight up and enter the swimming pool you understand how can a child walk straight up to the backyard and enter the swimming pool there was no proof there must there should be sort of a, a burglary proof that a child can climb over you understand 
So I think that's the main thing. But as for mistakes, anybody can make mistake, like leaving your child with some visitors and stuff. Like anybody can make that a mistake. That such a mistake. What if she went to cook? You know what I'm saying? I don't blame her for that. I don't even blame the bench. The bench was outside, but child proofing the house would have solved that problem. You get. So that's what I think. Um, that's what I have to say. Then it's good to teach children things from from childhood. You understand? Uh, there's nothing wrong with bringing your two, three year old child and uh, look at. Hey, this is electricity. If you touch this, it will shock you. You understand? Don't ever touch this. Oh, this is a swimming pool. Don't ever go to the swimming pool. When I was young, my dad was building a big house, and he barred us from going upstairs. You know, uh, the the way the houses have deckings. So he said, he said we should not climb the staircase at all and ever go up to see the, the decking. And I used to wonder what was up there. But my dad banned me, you understand? He said, never ever go up there. And the reason he said that was, hey, so that you don't go and trip and fall. So until that house was complete, I wasn't able, neither me nor any of my siblings were able to climb up and check uh, uh, the st that stairs and go to the uh, uncompleted building upstairs, you understand? So now growing up, I understand more that it was a precautionary measure, but he kind of called us and explained and told us never to do that. You understand? So that's one thing I think you guys should also um, uh, uh, adopt. If you have a house, as much as possible, try and child proof it. If there is a staircase that a child can trip over and fall, you should put a gate, tiny little gate on that staircase. You understand? So even when the door is open, the child can just climb the gate anyhow. So that's what I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And um, of course, may the soul of the young man rest in peace. Let, let's, let's know what you think. What else do you think would have happened that would have had this avoided? Now, one thing I don't like about Nigeria is that when tragedy happens, nobody discusses how it should have been avoided. Everybody starts praying all of a sudden. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? People start praying. In fact, if you try to, to um, raise a constructive, um, ask constructive questions, about how it happened and how it would have been um, avoided you see people attacking you so let's look at all these comments you see that they are all the same thing people are praying 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 look at this one the banjo would die what happened it is well first prayer sorry for the loss please what happened god you have already read that the child has has um, died god is with you and will always be with you pray again always faithful graceful god prayer may his gentle soul prayer uh so sorry may god be your strength prayer May God comfort you, sir. Prayer. His own drown. His son drowned. I'm sorry for your loss. Officially, he lost his son. May God. Prayer. You shall prevail. Prayer. It is worse. I pray. You see, nobody is trying to, hey, um, you should have, nobody is trying to tweet like, hey, you should have um, child-proofed your house. You understand? So that somebody learns. He was such a beautiful child. May he so pray. See, prayer everywhere. Prayer. I think this thing is spoiling things in Nigeria. When people have accidents on the road, nobody tries to ask some critical questions. Why did the accident happen? Was driver speeding? You understand? Was the road bad? You know, some critical questions will help us analyze why it happened and how to avoid it. You understand? Um, was the brake bad? Did it fail brake? If it failed brake, does it mean it has not been given signs before? Or was there no hydraulic and stuff? You know? But nobody asks all those questions. Now, we don't, we're a nation that do not investigate. In fact, I think the whole black Africa self, we don't investigate stuff. There's no zero, zero, um, uh, inquisitiveness I think we should have to stop that and overcome that all right so thank you very much let me know what you guys think and if this is good and this is the first time you're watching any of our videos click the red subscribe button below then click the like button it means that anytime I make a new video guess what you'll be the first to get a notification now let's see some other pictures of the child and guess who this guy that acted Star Wars uh, I don't know his name forgotten i think his name is Benga or whatever the guy was with the bunch son this is a picture of the bunch with his son this is another picture of the bunch with his son the, as in the son is even growing very fast one year old look at how how big the child is already uh that's the bunch with the son i think this is the latest picture i saw with the bunch that was like a month ago with his son or some weeks uh look at the bunch with the son um, that's another one, the bunch with the sun. So it's a really sad. The bunch reacted to the shocking news of the death of his cute son, Daniel III, who reportedly died in 
uh, swimming pool. He said, trying times, but my God is always and forever faithful. His fans have stormed his Instagram page to condole him and um, a sort of console. Uh, here are some throwback pictures of the bench, Daniel the Third. So that's him. All right, I think we're going to stop here. And uh, I would like to hear your own opinion. You understand? In the comment section, let's talk. Let me hear your own opinion. Thank you very much. See you. I'm just scrolling through some pictures so you see. Finally, somebody is thinking, this is a lady, safari girl, she said, how did he get to the pool? Were there no adults to monitor him? For a child to have drowned in a pool, it means he was inside it for at least two minutes. And somehow, no one was close enough to pull him out. Why? These are the kinds of death that are investigated in certain parts of the world because they are signs of negligence. Nobody would care if it was your child. Someone was careless and a life was lost in the process. I am both shocked and livid that a child so young died because of an avoidable accident in his own home. I think that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. How did the baby find himself near the pool in the first place? Who was the careless fellow? I hope this pretty boy was not used in exchange for fame. It's in the pain me, eh? Rest in peace. The mother of whoever was that child when he was in the pool should be charged. How could you be so careless? Children are so supposed to be are not supposed to be left uh, to play freely, but with maximum guidance and watch. I am so furious. Ah, this has spoiled my mood.